everyone, welcome to My Life, My Way with Amanda. Um, today I'm going to do a humor injection. I'm actually running out of the house, I am running late. So normally speaking, I take my humor. this is what it looks like when it comes in the injectable pens, um, and I let it sit out for about 30 minutes uh, to kind of warm up to room temperature before I stick it in my leg. Um, I've been a leg injector since I started on Humira two years ago. Um, it burns like fire, but it burns like fire for like 10 seconds and then it's done. And I figure the two weeks it gives me of pain relief works really well for me. I have enclosing spondylitis. Um, I was diagnosed when I was 24. <laughs> um, they actually found it through my eye. I have iritis. Um, I had three rounds of iritis. The last one actually gave me a cataract in the in my left eye that I had to have removed. Um, and my ophthalmologist at that point is like, this is getting ridiculous. You need to get onto a biologic medication to stop the iritis from occurring because I'm going to lose my eyesight. So um, I'm an EMT for a living. I kind of need that to be working. Um, and the arthritis is starting to take kind of a climb down where I was starting to not walk really well. I was starting to limp a little bit. I was starting to get a lot of pain going on. Um, and anybody with ankylosing spondylitis or any other kind of arthritis can really um, relate where the pain does something to you where you're not quite as good as you used to be. Um, never mind just the pain, but you don't walk very well, you're not as happy anymore, that kind of thing. I started this two years ago, a um, little over that actually now, um, and four months later I was actually able to dance at my own wedding for the entire night with no issues, uh, which is amazing. Um, and it was something I never figured I was going to be able to do by the time I turned 26 and I started getting some chronic pain from it. Um, so that was really cool. So I'm going to show you guys um, a bit of an injection. I'm going to try it for the first time in the stomach um, just because I don't have enough time and I've heard it hurts less in the stomach and you don't have to let it warm up for as long. So this has only been sitting out for about five minutes now maybe while I was running around getting everything else packed for my bag when I realized, oh my god, I haven't taken this yet before I leave town. So I'm going to put the camera down and you're going to get this really nice uh, view of my admin. Um, for those of you that know, I am attempting to lose weight. It's part of what this channel is for. So for these, you kind of just pick out in like a nice little squishy spot. Let's see here. That looks like it's going to be good. So you take an alcohol swab, get a little squishy spot, swab it out. It goes in a circular motion from where you're going to inject outwards. Uh, any kind of injectable medication needs to be done that way for when you're using your arthritis or your um, alcohol swab. So grab a little bit of uh, stomach. You can see the window there. This is what I'm watching for. There's a little yellow plunger that kind of comes in there. Ooh, if I can actually get this focused. Um, and I'll show you guys that after when it's done. So you hold it firmly to your skin. Keep your punch up. And then push down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's done. There's not even any bleeding. It's a very tiny, tiny little needle. I don't know if you guys can see it inside of there. Um, and then that's the yellow plunger that I'm waiting for. So you count for ten seconds. It usually actually injects about second, six or seven. Um, and then it automatically with trucks so that there's no actual sharp there. That being said, I do put the caps back on. So there's one. There's two, put my shirt back down now. And then uh, if you check out underneath, I'm gonna show you underneath my cabinet. I have a really big um, chirp kit because the injections are actually kind of large. So if you buy a small large, um, sharps kit for like six bucks, it takes about two months and it fills back up. So I spent the 20 bucks, I bought the really large one and now it lasts me for about a year before I have to take it back to the pharmacy and go replace it. Remember, never throw those out in the garbage. They do still have a needle in them, even though it self retracts. Um, and if you throw it in the garbage, it can get caught in the compactor and then you have an exposed needle. And the guys doing the garbage need to be protected too. So keep an eye out, keep everybody safe. Um, that actually didn't hurt very bad considering it was still cold when it went in. Uh, you can actually feel it, tad chilly. Um, and it didn't really hurt at all. So I might end up being part of the stomach crew. Um, we'll see. We'll see if I just stick it in my leg next time. I'm not really sure I have many determinations yet, but. Uh, that's it. That's all. That's all Humira injection takes for anybody that's panicked, that's worried, that's about to start taking it. It's really not as bad as it sounds. That first injection is always the worst one. Um, it does sting. They put, I think it's citric acid that they put in there, but the new ones are supposed to be citric acid free. So I have two more needles of the old type and then very possibly my needles after that could be the newer one without the citric acid in it. So they're supposed to not burn as badly um, while still being just as effective. So 
that's awesome. That's fantastic. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you learned a little something from this video. Um, if you have questions, comments, concerns uh, about Humira, about the injections, about anything along those lines, throw it in the um, comments down there and I'll absolutely answer your questions. And um, if you're also suffering from arthritis and also trying to drop the weight, um, also taking Humira, that kind of thing, um, follow my channel. Um, it covers everything from ankylosing spondylitis to my polycystic ovarian syndrome, me trying to get pregnant, me trying to lose weight, um, which are sort of opposing, but only if you actually manage to get pregnant, just saying. Um, so all of that's going to be kind of incorporated in this channel. So subscribe to me if you like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.